Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome into a primetime special episode of the program. As you all know, this weekend is the return of the Arena Open, and this time around, it happens to be standard. I thought, why not give you guys a special treat and give you guys three deck recommendations for best of one and best of three so that you could take home some cold hard cash. I want y'all to do something for yourself today. I want y'all to smash that subscribe button. Join the crew, and as always, don't forget to drop a big like and ring the bell so you don't miss any content. First up, our best of one decks. All right, everybody, welcome in, welcome in. First up for our best of one deck, you know, this deck has been all over best of one, and I thought I had to include it into this list for one of my three best of one decks, and that, of course, is Mono White Aggro. In particular, my list is the Learn Mono White Aggro list, so it has a lot more uh, Learn cards in the sideboard. Of course, you can't sideboard in best of one, but we do have seven Learn cards to kind of tutor with uh, Professor Symbology and Gilding Voice as well, or Guiding Voice, that is. But also my list runs a couple more one drops than other lists, like I'm running Monk of the Open Hand, obviously Guiding Voice, Chaplain of the Alms, just to make sure that you can uh, you can get a one drop with the hand smoother and best of one. My list also has quite a few two drops. You know, we got Clarion Spirit for when we need to be on offense and defense. It's always good to make a chump blocker and uh, help swing races in best of one because best of one is just chocked full of aggro decks. And also the thing that's different about my list is Adelin Resplendent Cathar. This card is incredible. It's pretty similar to Hero Blade Hold. It's just three mana. If you ever do attack with it, um, it's just incredible. And on three, you get immediate value if you you play it and then you attack with a creature because not only does it not have to attack, but you can attack with any other creature and get a 1-1 tapped. And also has Vigilance. So, you know, it's, it's good at attacking. It's good at blocking. It's got four toughness. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty simple snow land base. Only 18 lands because the best of one hand smoother. If we're playing this in best of three, definitely want to play some more lands, maybe a couple more faceless havens. But besides that... That's going to about do it for best of one white. I think this deck's great. I think it's really good against the control decks in best of one. And it's probably what I would play in best of one. So let's go ahead and hop into our next best of one deck. All right, everybody. And for our next best of one deck, I got kind of a brew for you guys. I'm not going to lie. And that, of course, is Rakdos Dragons. Look, I've been testing best of one for the last week or so just to make this video for you guys. And this deck was a front runner for, of decks for sure. This deck is just incredible. It runs a ton of removal in the main deck. I've tuned it quite a bit. And it's really, really good at just being good against most decks. Like, you can win pretty much any matchup. I've been kind of tuning the removal a little bit. Like, I'm playing two Burning Hands in the main because I've been running into Mono Green just a ton in uh, Best of One. And also, you have, like, flyers that can go over the top, so you don't really get stalemated on the ground. And, uh, yeah, this deck's just great for removal. It's great for Best of One. It has a large variety of outcomes. And the land base is actually pretty good for being just a two-color deck. The two Sulphurous Myers, I was really, really close to cutting before the video. But I think it's pretty necessary to have these in the deck. It's really important to have your colors. And you're actually mostly a mono-red deck, but you have a couple black cards. But in Best of Three, definitely, you would want to run these. But in Best of One, maybe I'd recommend cutting them, maybe trying it out, seeing how you like it. But besides that, the list is, like, super flexible. You can change anything you want. Moonville Regent's been absolutely excellent for the deck. You could definitely try versions with Emmerstorm Predator instead. No Goldspan Dragons. There's plenty of possibilities for this deck. Bloodthirsty Adversary has been one of the best cards in the deck, and I think is really, really good. And I think the reason why this deck is so good in Best of One as opposed to Best of Three is because in best of three, a lot of times they find ways to deal with this card, right? Like they have graveyard removal. Best of one, nobody's running graveyard removal in the main. So this card's been really, really good for me. But yeah, play this deck if you really, really just want to just be safe against a lot of decks. You want to be good against aggro. You want to be good against the blue red decks in best of one. I would definitely, I would definitely recommend this deck. Okay, and next up we got our first best of one and best of three deck. All right, guys, here we go. We got best of one slash best of three mono green. We're actually going to transition into our best of three decks here as well. But this mono green deck, everybody knows this deck. It's too good. Probably the front runner for best deck in the format. It, you know, it smashes, it bashes, it does all that stuff. Everything you want. And this list, I actually tuned for both. So you can just throw it into best of one. You make day three. Cue it right back up. The sideboard's all here. The sideboard is tuned for best of three. This is my most up-to-date list of mono green. And it's kind of a compilation of all of the like the world's mono green decks that I saw. I kind of just threw them all together, and this is the list that I came up with. Uh, of course, it's the Sculptor of Winter version, and you know we got a couple Renin Sevens in the main. I was really close to playing three, but I only played two. And yeah, so with that said, for best of one, this is probably honestly the the most consistent best of one deck. Like it's good against mono white. It's good against control decks. The mirror, I think you should have an advantage in the mirror in best of one because we're playing a couple inscriptions. Of course, two snakeskin veils in the main is my big difference from the other list. And as far as the sideboard goes, the sideboard is pretty stocked. The only thing I'm really really flashing out here in the sideboard is this Toski. 
I just wanted another tool against blue red, but I think that overall this sideboard is pretty good. And you can always change the sideboard. You know, you can change the sideboard if you're playing against a lot of mono white. Maybe you want some more uh, more devouring tendrils, or you know, you're playing against the black control decks. Maybe throw in another frog of moth. It really is just preference. Yeah, and that's pretty good for the best of three version of the green deck. And let's go ahead and hop into our next best of three deck. All right, everybody, welcome into our next best of three deck. And this deck, actually, spoiler alert. <laughs> This deck, I actually played on Saturday's video, so Saturday you're going to get a full tutorial of this deck. This deck has been one of my favorite decks I've been playing. It's Course Demir Control. It's just a super fun deck. I think it's really well tuned for the expected metagame. I'll go ahead and show you guys the sideboard as well. And it's been super consistent for me, believe it or not. Like, for a control deck, this deck has been great. I've been trying different versions of it that I've been really liking. Currently, I'm still playing the Morning Kanan. This is the version I played in the Saturday video as well. So if you're looking forward to seeing more of this deck, definitely check out the Saturday video. It's a great video. Put a lot of time into it, so I'm really excited about it. But yeah, it's core. It's just a bunch of removal, a bunch of counter spells, and it's, you know, your traditional control deck. You can play this deck. It's good against mono red. I think it has a, or not mono red. It's good against mono green. I think it actually has a great matchup against mono green, and that's one of the reasons why I love playing this deck so much. Uh, you could definitely tune it if you are feel like you're weak against mono green. Like Morning Kanan is not as good against mono green, but it's better against some of the other decks. So I chose to play Morning Kingdom, but you could definitely play uh, Imrith, Desert Doom. It's definitely a lot better against Mono Green than this card is, but overall this deck is very solid against the aggressive decks. I think it has some game against the blue red decks and the Alrun's Epiphany decks, so I definitely would recommend this deck for sure. Sideboard, pretty traditional sideboard, you know, duresses, mind flares, test of talents. I go over the sideboard more in my video on Saturday, but for now, just just you know, if you're gonna fire it up in the arena open. Try out some different, uh, some different tools, some different removal, and uh, slot it how you like it. So with that said, let's go ahead and hop into our last deck. All right, everybody. And for our last deck, this deck has been a deck that I've been kind of on since the Worlds, where Jan Mort's Miracle played this deck, and I kind of have been tuning it uh, to my liking. And that, of course, is Grixis Epiphany. This deck is incredible, right? Like, it... it it does so many different things and it's so hard to deal with. Like from having the Galvan Generation and Alrun's Epiphany package to just having just, you know, just a solid control game plan and you get to play Leer, which is been just it's i mean it's absolutely busted when you play discard spells like go blank and duress it uh this deck is great against mono red or great against i keep saying mono red it's really good against mono green it's really really good against mono white i think it has some really good game against the control decks as well like obviously graveyard removal is really good against this deck like if you're playing it's mono green frogamoth is a card where you really really want to be able to deal with that early and not let it hit you so it can't exile your yard for leer but the sideboard overall i've been really liking the sideboard i'm still keeping the cyclone summoners a lot of people have been playing this card in the board I think it's pretty good. It's really for like Renin 7 and Mono Green. Just as a way so you can get back in the game. Of course, you got a bunch of ways to like make mana, make treasures, keep the game going longer. I think if I was going to tune this deck maybe just a little bit better, I want to try a version with ex Unexpected Windfall instead of Memory Deluge. This card has been like really, really good as a one of. Like you play it, it's really good with Leer. It's incredible Goldspan Dragon out of the board as well. So. And that was kind of the base of the blue red decks at Worlds, right? Like they were playing this card instead of Deluge and Goldspan Dragon, and they were just making a ton of mana and having just a ton of counter spells up and a ton of interaction. But anyway, this deck's pretty solid. I think uh, I think it's really good against Mono Green. I think it's really good against the control decks, and I would definitely recommend this deck for best of three in the day two of the arena open. This is what I would personally play, and what I'm probably going to play if I make if I'm fortunate enough to make day two. But yeah, this deck is incredible. All right, well that's it, guys. That's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this little like short uh, kind of review almost tier list kind of <laughs> for the arena open uh, i wanted to get you guys just a video so that you can have a couple decks to play for the arena open i'll be sure to leave the link to my deck list document in the description below so be sure to check that out and as always i ask for a like and a subscription it helps grow the channel and it's good for you too you know you get some good content you get some decks for the arena open it's 100 percent free good luck in getting the cash this weekend guys i wish you all the best of luck and i'll see you in the next video of course check out my saturday video i'll see you in the next one gang gang